Alrighty then. <clears throat> video number two. Please forgive my last video on the water issue. I now cut off my head, you know, because when the sun gets going out here, you can't see a thing. You can't see this, you know. That's my disclaimer. <laughs> see, yeah, we'll go with that. Anyway, this video is going to be about the loss of everything and what you might want to expect or how you would feel about it. Um, I went through it. I didn't really lose everything. It's all still intact and somewhere. But the thing is, we've had, you know, it's the Nevada desert. And uh, here's another thing that is unique to uh, me, my channel, and where I live is that no one else that I've seen lives in the desert and is trying to do prepper survival desert crafting. Because there ain't no bu there's bushes out there, but that's about it, you know. Weeds and st trees, no, no, no. You'd have to really, you know, if you ain't got to... You gotta water a tree to have a tree. There ain't no just tree growing. So it's kind of unique. And this is what I'm gonna tell you. I had to leave the, you know, the trailer. I ain't gonna call it nothing else anymore. And uh, having had left that, I can't leave things running. There's no cooler. The house has been up there in 105. It's probably 150 degrees in that house right now. Because it got up to 105 today. Uh, 108, nine a few days ago. And we're reaching the whole 100 and somethings uh, here, you know, the next few. Now, here's going to get hotter. Now, that is kind of in, it's not normal. First of all, it came on later, a good month, month and a half later, these high temperatures. And uh, usually it's 100 and teens, you know, I mean, 112, 115 is a normal day out here. But that's not happening anymore. That kind of thing. Now, in New Vegas, you know, because they got their cars and the asphalt and, the, you know, the heat island effect, they get those kinds of temperatures. And, you know, now, I've seen it at 126, 128. I was parking cars in a casino back in the day when I was young, early 20s, you know, when I first got married. And uh, on top of the Mint, you know, it's a casino called the Mint, they have this big frame that's time and temperature. I sit there and watch it get 126, 128 degrees at that sucker. And it was many, many, many stories tall on top of the men. There's some that are familiar with it. Anyway, that stuff just baked ass up there. I've had canned goods up there. I got all that. The grains and powders and flours. and It's got to be, you know, it's got to be destroyed. And that's another thing you got to consider, you know. If you have storage. It has to be kept temperate. Yeah, you think, oh, I'm going to put that in my garage. Yay. No. You ain't going to do it. It'll get bugs. It'll, it'll bloat. Like, I got a couple of cases of tuna up there. They're probably a, a couple of cases of grenades right now. You know, they're gone. Who knows? Um, there's another issue with that. I, you know, I expected some help from a couple of people, close personal, you know, family members, and I did not. Did not help me out. Expect that. People are going to, when you get down on your luck, and even homeless people and this and that, I had a lot of friends, and they've been, you know, like, man, I got to something happen, it wasn't my fault, this and that. They'll still oh, back away. And, oh, man. You know, like they're going to get that misfortune on them, like catching a cold. Uh, expect that. Expect that a lot. People will just shy away from you. Um, there were some, a few people that helped me on my channel. I appreciate that. Thank you all very much. Those that had helped me through that difficult time, I must say, that helped. And uh, and my loved one, you know, that helped. But don't expect it. That, that was all such a, a, you know, you're kidding me kind of thing that uh, I was amazed. But expect people to just, you know, and watch it, it you know, Fly or fall, which is kind of crappy. But that aside, what was that? What was my subject? Oh, yeah. Look around you. All your stuff. Tables and chairs, you know, couch, TV, everything, bed, clothes, blankets and pillows, 
the bathroom. Imagine all that wiped away. Imagine being with your loved one for years and years, you know, and things are static and things are, you know, pretty squared away or they're comfortable. They're not right, they're not good, but at least you're not uncomfortable badly. Going down it, now I'm not going to say homeless that yet because that's a whole other subject. And uh, all that gone in a heartbeat, in a flash, in a, a, an upheaval. I'll tell you what, it it will <clears throat> it will uh, uh, affect you adversely. It does not describe it. Your health will go. Your mental health. Your physical health. Your your social health. Your spiritual health. You know, people say, "Oh man, God this and Lord that," and you know, the gods this and the gods that. I did keep my faith though. Kept my faith in where I have my faith placed sure and uh, that helped me through that's one thing that might but man I'll tell you what the depths you will reach are phantasmal and you think you're strong you think you got it you think you're this and that no you're not and you're, well gee is that a theory no you know why and here's another thing like I said in my last video if people don't, you know, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be this way. I do because I went through what I went through to learn this and to convey my knowledge to you. That being said, right, I got <laughs> I got a little more lesson than I expected. But a lesson's a lesson and uh, to teach it is what I'm my, that's what my, what I am now. It's going to be terrible. You know, you're going to go through crap you don't know. And to be uprooted like that, what you're going to go through is just terrible. Yeah, your mind will go. Your health will go because you just will not be. You think, I'm going to get up and I'm going to this. No, you're not. I'm going to this and that. I'm going to take care of that. No, you're not. You know, because you just lose everything. I don't know, I'm repeating myself. What else? Let me give me a minute here. Um, the effects of it and what you're going to go through to get out of it. You know, look at me. I can't think now. My mind is not the same anymore. I can't think as straight as I was. I don't eat as well as I have. I'm picking up the steps some because there is something that has happened that has given me the reason, excuse me, to move forward. If you don't have that reason, you will not go forward and you will fail. I kid you not. And uh, people say, oh, that won't be me. Yes, it will. It will be you. You will do badly to the point of failure. Even, I guess, to the worst case scenario, where you will just sit somewhere and you, uh, you will die. Now, here's another issue about that. Because I was saying, I'll just go out and I'm just going to sit and die. That's the point I was at. I didn't care. I don't, you know, right? <laughs> that ain't easy. You think, oh, I'm just going to fall over dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay? But when you reach that point and you don't go and die, there are certain things that will die. They will die. But certain things will change and come back to life as it were. And you've got to be ready for that. You've got to expect it. You, and uh, another thing, do something about getting people around you that will help you. Or like I said, you won't make it. You will not make it. The only reason I made it, you know, and to be honest with you, I didn't make it. Because I'm not Pure D. White Cloud that was there. I'm not that man anymore. That man is injured unto death. And now there's this man. Now, when I get out of here, when I go do what I'm going to go do, hopefully, because and that's another thing. 
You go through this, you won't take another thing for granted ever again. You won't sit there and say, oh, I'm fine because I'll be, you know, I got this covered. I got something going on. No, you don't. You do not have it going on. Always think and always be prepared to be at the lowest level that you can imagine. I got the sun coming at me. Right? Always think that you will be there because there will be times that you will be there no matter what you do. You will be there. Expect it. Train for it. Train your mind for it. Train your, your soul for it more than anything. Your mind can take a lot of things, but your soul can really get beat up easy. A soul is a tender thing. Your spirit is... It's like a loaf of bread, man. It can get squished easy into where them, them slices ain't going to come back like they used to. Know this and understand. You will be different. You will be that loaf of bread that got squished in the, in the grocery bag. You're still bread, but you sure can't spread no peanut butter on them slices. Unless you take yourself, you get to a point to where you go and you bake another loaf of bread and you slice it up and you're, you're new again. But don't think you won't and don't think you don't ever think that you won't be in the position that you won't be destroyed, utterly torn down to the point where you won't be you ever again. Having said that, live by your wits and not by your worries, and always, always remember, the nicer you make it, the less you can take it. Always try to be a little tougher than the next guy. Just a little, you know, rough on your edge. Always keep that rough edge. It helps. It helps. All right. Peace. Bye.